Lisa, you're guest starring on Bones. Yeah. Situation's out. Antonio Sabato Jr. is in. He is not playing my son. <laughs> he's not playing your son. He's not playing, no. They were like, and I said, so they didn't get the situation. So who they? And they're like, I think it was Antonio Sabato Jr. I'm like, oh no. This I'll accept. This this one I'm nine years old. This is the limit. I'm not taking some freaking 45 year old man as my son. Wait a minute. That's not going to happen. Wait a minute. I'll put my foot down. I'll walk off the set. You were doing the Bones episode with the Italian kids? Yes. My good friend Joey Russo, my theater company, Maybe was the, he's it was my the first son. thing he booked. He went in and he oh. did a great job and he played the kid. Maybe I can tell you his part. Maybe it was him. He said they were uh, interrogating him. And no, because my kid's dead. How long ago was this? <laughs> my kid's ago. dead. Yeah. Oh, there's Joey Russo. Spoiler alert. I, no, no, I said that episode. This is my boy. Yeah. He's my, but well, it's hard because I didn't know that that show was a comedy. I went in, I did it. I looked at this thing and I was like, okay, she's a mother. Her son is dead. I'm like, oh, like, okay, that she has already good. filmed. This show's a yeah. comedy. I was like, all right, let me try that one more time. And it was different that second time. You're still having that problem with, with our genre. Yeah. yeah. Did you yeah. talk to Antonio? He used to play Jagger, so did I you guys exchange GH yeah, notes? No, Jagger, when Brandon took the naked pictures of Karen in the locker room and what have you. You're yeah. an old school fan. Uh, uh, I did not meet him on the set, no. Okay. I worked only with David. I did work with Savato. Yeah. Did he? Did you? No. Did you guys end up spooning in the movie? No, he did have to spoon another guy in that movie though. Really? Did you cuddle him? I'm dead serious. I had a feeling. Three, three spoons? No, I wasn't there. there. I sadly didn't get to be a part of that, you know, scene. It's okay if you Scenic did. magic. It's okay if you did. <laughs> What's coming up next for your characters? Is Ronnie going to get caught for throwing the gun in the... I think Ronnie actually gets killed off in like two weeks. It's kind of... Don't listen to him. Elevator shaft. <laughs> Um, no, he doesn't even get a death scene. He just he's, all of a sudden he's just not there. Wait, we just like, see his badge and his gun sitting on the desk. He's like those kids on all my children that go up in the attic to get the my keys out of my at Christmas yeah. and they never come back. Yeah. No, so I, gonna do. you know I don't know. Like they, it's been really cool because it, it's been nice to focus on something else I've been involved in. Is, is Robin? Is she? Is any of that stuff aired yet? Well, stuff. well, yeah, that she's that she's. No, no, I don't think so. so I'm not yet. You can say that you, you can, have something you can hint to do towards with it. helping track down Lisa and, or, yeah. you know, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I have it's something to do with helping track down Lisa and uh, maybe helping bring Lisa the crazy Niles to justice. justice. I, I'm on another case, not just this okay, good. thing, which is exciting for me because you know Sunny brings out the anger in Lisa, but this <laughs> other case I'm a little more like I think you might actually love Sunny. Down. I mean, you know, you hate, hate him so him. much that I think you actually have a love for him. I'm the only guy in that town that doesn't have any feelings for him at all. If, you became, like if you became the lover of Sonny, that would be... I think, yeah. I'm going to pitch that to the writers. That's how you, that's how Sonny and Ronnie secretly... Uh, yeah. I didn't say he loved Maybe, you. No, no, What's going to happen to Jason then? What's him. Jason going to do? Jason's going to get jealous and, you know... That's I don't know what happens for me in so terms of a new case. I don't know if it's, it, it seems like John and Olivia are a little bit back together, but it, obviously no one can stay too happy for long. So I don't know what the next wrinkle in our the next wrinkle is when he shaves his friggin' chest. The next, wrinkle, the next wrinkle is when I get another year older, and then I get a son. Who's and, then you, and then you show up day with a lunchbox for him and go, "Here you go, honey. I packed a lunch for you." So I ain't cleaning my you know, dentures. With a little dentures and shot me. I got my pantyhose rolled down around my ankles. One down, the other one up. Uh, like, you're, going, you're, you're like my grandmother, you're going from funeral to funeral with people you don't even know. <laughs> is Olivia going to face off with Carly after what she did with Brooklyn? Like, well, are you like getting that scene? Me at Fan Club Weekend, I was like, what are you going to kick Carly's ass? What are you going to kick Brooklyn's ass? Yeah, we're waiting for it. No? I am too. I don't know. I don't know. It would seem like that's one thing I know about Olivia. She loves to beat people up. It's like her flaw, it's her fatal flaw. She's really good at beating people up and she loves to do it. She's looking for an excuse. It would be great. I don't know if they're going to have that happen anytime soon. I well, hope they do. Dante and Brooklyn, are you guys going to be friends again? or? You know, that, that's another thing I was just thinking about when you're talking about that part because I don't, I, there hasn't been much more of anything since I had that conversation with her where, where I didn't really make the choice as that character that he really believed her. I tried to make it seem like he did, but I still wanted to leave it like a doubt. But we haven't addressed it ever since, so I'm not sure where they're going with that. What's uh, ahead with Lulu? What's that? What's ahead with Lulu? Um, we go, we make a trip to, uh, again? We make love and we eat stuff cutely. And then Ronnie knocks on the door and rubs the rock man. No, we went to, uh, I think we go help, uh, there's a new bad guy coming on the show. 
and he is going to... Is that the Balkan? The Balkan, yeah, and he's going to have um, some repercussions for a few people, namely me and some other people. What's this guy about? Can you say... What? Is, yeah. Yeah, Who's this guy? <laughs> well, what's, what's coming up in the fall? Is Brenda finally coming back to Port Charles? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's back. She's, already, she's back. She's Aaron. Yeah, yeah, she's Aaron. But she, uh, there's going to be some stuff with her and the connection to me and her and stuff like that. Oh, and then. Do you guys have a past connection? That, there's you know, a past, yeah, that'll be. Yeah. Oh, wow. And then Dante she's comes home one day and Ronnie and Lulu, uh, he's, uh, they're making love. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't know if I call it. Would you call it making love? I, well, I was, I was very, very emotional when it happened. <laughs> I don't know. I think she was just using me. Ronnie Domestico is trying to be, to be trying to get a girlfriend for. Oh, to answer your now. question about the gun, I don't know either if there's gonna, if they're going to address that because yeah, it kind of just got dropped off at the moment, and okay. I, I kind of hope they say something about. It. Actually, we we, we, did, we had a bit of a something, but that was it. Yeah, and it has. I don't think it's it aired yet. No. But we we kind of address it very. Very briefly. Yeah, but. this one tried to play like he grew up thinking that I was like the hot mom of this one. And I was like, no, no, no. That ain't going to happen. I'll take this one as my son, but you as my son age, no. Well, you, well, you can say that all you want, but that's not what they're writing, buddy. So. No, I put my foot down. With who? By yourself? I you put, put it down, you look at it? I put it right down. On the I phone. hope it helped. Yeah. So, can you explain more about uh, Dante's connection to Brenda? No. No? I don't think so. So, you've already given enough. Yeah, I don't even know if I should be telling that, but I mean, I think that's kind of fair to say because she's back and there's going to be, you know, there's going to be stuff that has happened and that you can figure it out for yourself. Partly I want to say because I think there's there was uh, something I read that a lot of people were saying, I told you, you this, but a lot of people were saying that, that what, I, what Dante said to Lulu the night he was drugged about having... The, the, like this, we swore we never tell. A lot of people are writing in that they think that Lieutenant Paletti like molested him or something like I that. I thought that from the very beginning. And it's terrible. Well, that Paletti's all over the place. No, but the Paletti thing, and I asked Bob, head writer, about it. He's like, no, make sure people know that that's not true because we want that guy to be an honorable man, you know, yeah. who, who was a legitimate good person who was a father figure to this kid. And, and it, you know, I can see why people would go there because of Michael's abuse and Sonny's abuse yeah, and why not have Dante abused as and well. And then when Sonny you know, had him killed, he was actually a hero instead of a jerk. Right, but I, that, to my knowledge, that is that is okay. not the case. It is, he was, you know, maybe maybe referencing some things that have to do with him. Not that I know. So we still don't know what happened. No, I think, you know, people are kind of gathering that for yeah. themselves, what happened, you know. So it's not going to be properly addressed. I don't show. know if it will be addressed. I think it will be addressed one day because I think this kid's just going to have more and more problems, yeah. you know. Right. And he's going to have to face up to it someday. And I think, you know, uh, he's going to have to talk to somebody at some point. I don't think there's probably going to be a full, like, visual recounting. And a whole no, I don't think it's going to be that. But I think he's going to he's gonna have some pretty good material to work with probably yeah. at some point. You guys getting ready to film November sweeps? Any big disasters coming up? Disasters. You get killed off, yeah? Yeah, I get killed off, that's right. They're, they're yeah. keeping Ronnie Marble on their camera. Yeah, they're actually, yeah. Wait, I wish I don't get know. your own joke. I don't even know. Listen, that's not that a joke. That was a joke. You were getting stupid stupid joke, okay? <laughs> Come up with a new one. No you, got, you three are safe, though, right? Yes. Okay. As far as we know. Well, I don't, I don't know. It's a soap. It's like Survivor. It's totally like Survivor. You might get folded up next week. Seriously. So they took the coconut over your candle. I have I have hold, I have booking dates through uh, October, so I know I have a job through well, October. Well, this year then you'll be in sweep stuff probably. Because we'll yeah. probably shoot uh, shoot sweep stuff. Probably in, shoot uh, me in October. <laughs> yeah, so I know I have a job to October. That's as far as I can say. You know what I mean? There you go. I don't know much further than that. Thanks a lot for doing this. Any last message to the fans? Keep watching. Thanks for watching. I hope we uh, continue to live up to your uh, your expectations.